Okay, we now move to the parametric approaches part 2 and our focus would be on extreme value. Extreme value are important for risk management because they are associated with catastrophic events such as failure of large institution or market crashes. Since they are rare, modeling is even challenging and uh, our focus would be here to understand to, uh, the generalized extreme value distribution and peaks over threshold approach and uh, understand how peaks over threshold converges to generalized Pareto distribution. Also some importance of calculation of war and expected shortfall assuming uh, peak over threshold estimates is what we want to look at. Now the occurrence of extreme event is rare however we should identify them as they can be very costly and extreme value are result of large market decline or crash a failure of major institution the outbreak of financial political arises or natural catastrophe. The challenge of analyzing modelized extreme event is that only few observations are available. To meet these challenges, we must assume a certain distribution. The sum distribution will probably not be identical to the two distribution, and some degree of error, is of course, will be present. But uh, uh, we choose a distribution based on measure of central tendency, which is misses out the trying to find of incorporate extreme events. So researchers need to approach the specifically deal with extreme value estimation. Incidentally, researchers in many fields other then finance face similar problem in flood control for example analysts have to model the highest possible flood line when building a dam and this estimation requires uh, uh, a height above the observed level of flooding to date. Now when we look at uh, EVT and its use under risk management we see that this is a, a branch of applied statistics that is developed uh, to address problem with extreme outcome. EVT uh, focuses on uniqueness aspect of extreme value and is different from central tendency statistics. So this is very different from central tendency statistics and in central tendency statistics uh, the central limit theorem uh, plays an important role and extreme value theorem provides a template for estimating the parameters used to describe extreme events. So it's a counter uh, or a contrary view to the extreme value theorem. So this approach uh, for estimating parameters came into being by Fisher uh, Tiplett theorem from 1928 and he said that uh, uh, as the sample size get large the distribution of extreme uh, would converge to a generalized extreme value theorem and he gave a uh, something called the generalized extreme value theorem and uh, the parameter uh, <coughs> mean and the uh, sigma are uh, location parameters and scale parameters respectively and uh, it's related to mean and various they are not the same so uh, uh, the symbol here uh, uh, which they use for the tail index indicates uh, the shape or the heaviness of the tail of the limiting distribution and there are three cases of the generalized extreme value distribution uh, uh, known as heavy light and lighter so uh, uh, which uh, are like for heavy it becomes a fracture distribution and then for light it becomes a gumbel and then it becomes fable so uh, uh, this is all about uh, the tails and modeling of uh, the the tails. So uh, uh, they use this uh, eta as a, a parameter where eta is greater than zero, it becomes heavy. Eta is equal to zero, it becomes light, and eta smaller than becomes it uh, more lighter. So uh, uh, when the researcher are confident about the parent distribution. Uh, uh, for example, we know that it's T distribution, then we should use eta is greater than zero, which is uh, uh, like heavy tail. And uh, if a researcher applies a test and cannot reject the hypothesis eta equal to zero, then the researchers uh, uh, use uh, eta equal to zero. And if the researcher may wish, wish to be conservative uh, to avoid uh, model risk, he should use eta greater than zero. So uh, uh, a safest way to assume uh, this would be to have uh, eta greater than zero. Now we look to the peaks over threshold method. Uh, the peaks over threshold approach is an applicable ap application of extreme value theorem to distribution of excess over <coughs> a high threshold. POT assumes uh, uh, a lot of things here and uh, POT approach generally requires few parameters than extreme value theorem. POT provides natural way to model uh, values that are greater than high threshold. So POT approach begins by defining a random variable x to be loss and we define u as the threshold value of positive values of x and the distribution of excess uh, over u. So uh, this is a con uh, conditional distribution for x given that, that the threshold is uh, uh, exceeded by no more x. So uh, uh, this is how we go about it.